All right, today I'm going to make a, um, an organizer for all the nuts and bolts and screws and stuff like that that I have. Uh, I've kept them in cabinets and drawers in the past, but those things just get you know, really messy. So I'm going to use jelly jars, big mason jars. I'm going to screw the lids up, uh, and I'm going to put them, I'll show you. I'm going to put them right underneath these cabinets that I have out here in my shop. So I'm going to screw a 2x6 up underneath here so I can screw it to that back wall, that OSB back there. And uh, I'm going to screw it up to the cabinets, and then we're going to screw a whole bunch of jelly jars, mason jars up in there, so I can see what I have fasteners-wise and uh, keep them a little bit more organized. So let's cut the board. I'm going to make this 9 feet long, and that will leave uh, room on each side there for a um, fish towel roll. So this is what I'm thinking about doing. I kind of made this prototype up. Uh, the jar lid will sit back in here, and that's that pop top lid that it's a two piece, you know, the ring and the and the top. And I flip this upside down so the wax ring won't be touching the jar anymore. But two screws should keep it from uh, you know coming undone. And then I'll be able to hang that up there and take my screws out and put them back in. I'll be able to see what's in each jar. So that's the idea. Uh, we're gonna screw a whole bunch of those to this. And then we're going to mount this up there and start organizing my fasteners. So we have the superstructure up, it goes all along that shelf back there, and I'm going to put a paper towel dispenser on the other side, so I have two, and then start loading up the fasteners. 
All right, so we got them all hung and some of them filled up. I put just the things that I think that I'll use pretty often up there. I always keep like a, this is an old dog food dish and on the pot. Uh, I keep nuts and bolts like random ones here in, in this and I keep screws in this one so I can dump them all out on the counter and pick through them and push them back into here. That's all random stuff. I always keep those around. But we've got uh, tap cons, fence staples, finish nails, big nuts and bolts, chain hardware, 18 gauge staples, uh, some inch and a half drywall screws, Teflon tapes, got a bunch of empty ones here I can kind of grow into, uh, garage hooks, tile spacers, biscuit joiner biscuits, uh, self-tapping steel screws, big fence staples, uh, all my different sizes of lag bolts and lag screws, some two and a half inch uh, exterior screws, and some of my pocket screws. And so it worked out pretty good. I'll probably put some under cabinet lights down there also.